Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to get out of this parody case on the Super 3x3x5 by, by, by Calvin's Puzzle. I know a lot of you guys have bought this, um, and I'm sure a lot of you have gotten into the situation and not knowing what to do. And somebody sent me an email with a picture of this exact scenario right here, color scheme and everything, um, saying, do you know how to get out of this? I've solved it four times and I keep getting it. And uh, I didn't know how to solve it. I've actually spoken about this parody in my unboxing of these puzzles and that I couldn't get out of it and that I just had to re-scramble and resolve it until I didn't get the parody. Um, and then I hit send and sent the email back saying, you know, maybe ask somebody else and maybe Super Antonio Vivaldi or something like that. And then as soon as I hit send, aha, I had an epiphany. Um, the reason that we can get this parody is because it doesn't act like a 3 by 3 by 5 um, I mean, you can use it like 3x3x5, three by three by but there's so much more to it because we have these pieces here. The reason that these here are swapped are is because these are swapped as well. This is actually a three cycle, um, even though it looks like two, but because all of these are equivalent to each other, we can cycle two of these with one of these and kind of swap them around. All right, so that's why, because this is basically a 3x3 three and a five by five and what i mean by that is if you don't count this top layer or the bottom layer all right now we have a three by three don't look at the center parts we just look at the skeleton okay this is a three by three so you solve that and then you have to deal with these centers and that's the same thing as dealing with five by five centers you can move them around and you know what i mean so um now, if you know anything about commutators, uh, you're gonna you're gonna find this pretty easy. Now, if you don't, I'm going to explain commutators. So, a commutator can essentially swap two pieces here. All right. So, basically, what you want to do is get the pieces in the same spot, like this, and now you want to bring this piece down to complete this row. Okay. So now that this row is completely completed, you want to move it into a different row and hide that row going down again. And then you want to bring this back and you want to bring this row back up again. And now you want to bring this one over here so you can bring this up again. So you're creating layers by going down, over, down, over, up, over, up, over, or you can also go up, over, up, over, down, over, down, over. And, uh, so that, that's the basis of commutators. All right. So the way I'm going to show you on this is the same thing because we can go here and move these around just like we can on a five by five. All right. So these are not locked in place to these at all. So this is how this commutator is going to work to solve this case. This is what I want you to do. I want you to hold it like this with it on the right and the front. And I want you to go middle slice down and then turn this because we want this to be out and we want to exchange them. So we're keeping a track on of this piece here. So this comes down, we move it into the layer of the other one by just moving this section and then we move this down. And this is now in spot where it's supposed to go. So that's down over down over or that was down over down and now we move this back and put this back and then we move this back and now you can see that this one's in place but this one still needs to come up here so we're just going to use a commutator again we're going to put this here and put this here so now they're in the same spot now we're going to do the commutator on top not the face so we bring it up to create this layer so we bring that up which creates this layer we move it out of the way so that's up over and then we hide it up and then we bring this back over and then we bring this one back down. So that's down and then over and then down. And now you just fix the top layer and that fixes the parity because I know why you got this parity. It's because you're looking at this like a three by three by five and it's not, it's a three by three and a five by five. 
So these layers are all treated like a five by five. So again, it's down over, down over, up over, up over. If you know anything about commutators, this should be very, very, you should probably have already figured it out before I even had to explain it once I told you it's just commutating pieces. So that is how you do it. If, you, if you're not familiar with commutators, but you want to get out of that, you can always come back to this video, any of you guys out there, and just watch it step by step. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.